Okay, hmm, really interesting. There's some new engineering post, job posts are through for three days, hinting at some new, I guess, post content, plus a new next gen game down the line. So let's talk about it. So, including a character artist, we're going to be getting a lot of post launch content, and I've theorized about this before, not in a video, but about we're going to get single player and multiplayer content. Halo 4 tried to do it, but it didn't pan out because the implementation of it wasn't that great. I'm talking about Spartan Ops, but... So it seems like I am right, because with this 10-year plan they keep talking about... Here's the other post. Please note, the there's two separate ones. Because the second one is the untitled Halo game, and note that it says next gen only, specifically in the quote-unquote next exciting Halo campaign. So that is interesting. So it seems like, you know, with you know with the main game coming out in the fall, so what I'm gonna guess is the Xbox One version of Halo Infinite, yes, there is still that coming. What, what I think is going on here is that down the line, maybe like a year or two, they're gonna, they're gonna cut out the Xbox One version. Support for that version, like Bungie did with Destiny One back in the day. So, so I was right there. So hmm. Now I guess depending on how the main story of Halo Infinite plays out. So, I think that's very exciting that you know it. The fact they're already hiring, you know, you know, new engineers for the future kind of tells me that you know they're already doing it really quick. So, I am, so, I think it's great, you know, kind of, you know, that they're already planning far into the future, and that we're not going to be getting just one campaign for the freaking next 10 years, because I think that is absolutely ridiculous if that was the case, which it seems, according to these posts, that's not the case. We're also going to be getting a brand new game, too, that specifically next-gen only. Well, I'm, I'm, I, I know Bonnie Ross has said a spinoff before, maybe no DST too, or if my brain just explodes by the prospect of this, but a new Forerunner, a game based during the Forerunner Flood War, please, I would love a game like that, because, like, that's only being really explored in the books, I would love an, an official game, you know, further explores that, because I think there's, anyway, there's plenty of stories they can go, we know they're, you know, it's, you know, past the events feel infinite or before so anyway i uh, just want to make this quick video i'll see you guys in the next one